Welcome back, devotees. So we finally started Inazuma after ascending our world level to 8 on our Animal Only account. An account where we are trying to beat Honkai Star Rail using only wind characters. Oh wait, wrong game. So yeah, for the past week, I became pretty addicted to Honkai Star Rail, but that's a story for another time. Anyways, last time we got through the Sakura Cleansing World Quest with Hanachiru Sato in Inazuma, where we had to use Electro to get through some of the puzzles for the World Quest. I had to think outside the box, finding Electro elements to swirl throughout Inazuma in order to complete the puzzles. So if you guys watch me a lot, you'll know I have a lot of skill issues playing Genshin. No! 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 But apparently my skill issues are contagious because I spread it to enemies as well. I'm gonna get to a point where I can make them shoot me with a crop. Okay, good. Okay, your aim sucks. The reason why I wanted to get hit intentionally by the enemy was because I needed to infuse myself with Electro. And since we're in Inazuma now, the world quest was only the tip of the iceberg, and this eventually gets worse. So now, we'll continue where we last left off in the Inazuma Archon quest. We just joined the resistance army, and participated in a battle against Kujo Sara and her goons. And we successfully forced her army to retreat. We met back up with Tepe near Fort Fujito to get ready to enter the resistance camp. We took a wave rider to cross the ocean, but I realized I could just do this. Can I just do this, by the way? Okay, I don't want to ride the ship. I'm just gonna go here. I'm lazy. So after arriving at Watatsumi Island, we met back up with Tepe, and were taken to meet Kokomi in Tsanganomiya Shrine. Next, we had to meet some other resistance soldiers, and we were tasked to take out some samurai enemies near the island. The fight with Animoni was pretty standard, with no elements to swirl, we had to make Wanderer do all the work. Not bad. Considering my Wanderer needs a little bit more crit damage for more damage, doing pretty good damage. There were a few places we needed to go and clear out the enemies. This time, we had to fight the Kairagis, and they were obviously more tanky, so it was more of a challenge for Wanderer. No! I have trouble killing them together. Ow. After defeating the enemies, we reported back to Kokomi back in Sakanomiya Shrine, and talked to Tepe as well. So we completed the intro to the Resistance Army part of the Inazuma Archon quest. And now we might run into trouble. A lot of you guys in the comments already warned me about this. So at least I'm somewhat prepared. For those of you guys wondering right now, I'm on my... Okay, totally not a pun because I'm using Wonder. But if you guys are wondering right now, I'm on my Animal Only account. I'm trying to get through this part of the Archon Quest, which I might get stuck in because I have to deal with some pillars over there. But, luckily, wait, it's raining as well. Wait, what? Is it even possible to get infused with Electro here? Okay, I don't know if it's possible. Because it's raining. Because, like, for example, if my Sayu rolls, it just, they should just get infused with Hydro. Use Electro Scara, right? Won't I get stuck here? Will the rain stop though if I do the quest? I thought it only stops at a certain part. Also, someone commented an element infusion fact for Animo. And since Electro is one of the lowest priority for us, we have no way to infuse ourselves with Electro right now because of the rain making us wet. Usually when we encounter Electro monuments, we just find something to infuse ourselves with Electro to solve the puzzles. But now we're stuck in a limbo. Luckily, in my last episode, someone also commented on a suggestion to complete the Urabashi Legacy World Quest where I can eventually remove the rain after completing the quest. So before we continue the Inazuma Archon quest, we have to prioritize completing this world quest first before we could continue. To start the Orobashi's Legacy World Quest, we have to first talk to Kaji, who's standing around a shrine. While talking to Kaji, our Wando just got to experience his sixth betrayal. <laughs> that was rude. Is this why you guys want me to stop the rain as well? The rain will always be putting Hydro on, okay? Yeah, that's why I want to end this. It was alright though. He got to chill for a bit in the sidelines. Anyways, we started a quest by first touching the ward. I know I had skill issues doing this quest on my EU before, but maybe I remember now. So you had to... Wait, what? You had to go place a ward. But to get a ward, you have to... Play with this thing. You gotta play like handoffs or something so i gotta adjust elevation and also the orientation of this thing we have to rotate the statue things to the right direction so that the statue shoots out the orbs that hits the burial in the end fortunately the first puzzle was pretty easy and we started to figure things out wait and how do you activate this do you just hit it by the way okay yes you do luckily you don't need to use electro on it so that's good hi voti i'm late but i hope you're having a good time hi salmon 
How are you doing today, by the way? And to answer your question about me having a good time, I might not be having a good time because I'm forced to do this quest. Which, to stop a rain, because I can't progress to Inazuma because of this rain that's happening right now. Get it? Alright, I think I'm aiming at the right spot. Is this one aiming at the right spot, by the way? I think so? It's pointing at the right spot. Alright, let me try hitting it. Oh, you need to change it first. Okay. I usually do this one by one in order, since some things are in the correct position. Oh, so you just basically shoot it every time. Okay, if a cutscene happens, that means I did it right. You finish Inazuma without doing this quest? Well, you guys have actual characters, and I don't. Can I just skip all these enemies here? I collect the orb as well, and then you have to collect this thing. Alright, I'm gonna kill you though, over here. We quickly defeated a Kairagi enemy, and started to make our way back to the shrine. Where is this place? Never been here before. I got a chest. I just walked straight through that, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. That's rude. It's easy, you just have skill issues. No! <sighs> okay, I don't even need to fight this flower. I don't know why I'm bothering. So after rage teleporting, I made my way back to the shrine and submitted the two items needed to repair the ward and successfully stop the rain in the first area. Alright, part three already. Okay, that's fast. Okay, this one is a power I have, have a skill issues about. Does anyone remember the order, by the way? Or... Yes? Okay. Alright, walk me through it. What do you do with the first one? Am I- is this aiming at the right part, or do I aim at this one? That's not first? Wait, <laughs> which one's the first one? <laughs> oh, this one? See, I told you I have skill issues. It's at the top. <laughs> okay, I'm testing you guys. I'm trying to see if you guys remember the whole thing. For part 3 of a quest, we had to move multiple statues and altitudes in order to solve the puzzle. Luckily, I had a few people from my stream that were able to assist me with the positions of the statues. Aim it at the other top thing? Wait, so which one is it? Left or right? Wait, is it the one over here? This one? Okay, my hat is blocking, but... Is it this one that I'm aiming at? I'll just adjust the orientation. It's the one on a cliff. Oh, this one? Okay, so is the elevation correct? No. We had to adjust the orientation a few times with the different statues in order for the statues to hit the right pattern. After spending a few minutes adjusting the statues, we were finally able to solve this puzzle. Next, we had to repair the ward, and with elemental sight, we were able to track down the warding stone. In order to get an orb, we had to first confront an abyss mage. Ah. Wow. I didn't even have time to dodge that. We returned back to the shrine and submitted the two items needed to repair the ward. It also stopped the rain here as well. For the next ward, we had to defeat a Kairagi enemy first before we could access it. Okay, this guy is sitting right in front of the ward, so I just gotta teach him a lesson for standing in my way. We had to leap down into a hole and fight a few ruined enemies. The fight was pretty rough since they had a lot of health and we didn't have any elements to swirl with our animal characters. Ow, ow. No! <laughs> Do I have to kill all these enemies, by the way? <laughs> Fight them? Alright. They're kinda hard. Not gonna lie. This is creating a black hole. Eventually, we were able to defeat them, and we jumped down another hole. We followed the Sealy and collected the rock, but now we're trapped. Oh, oh. oops. <laughs> wait, wait. How am I infused with Electro? Wait, what? Oh, okay. I don't know what happened, but... No. No, I touched the water. No, I need to get up the the thing. But apparently, I'm getting electrode, so I just need to don't touch the water, and then I'm good. Okay, I need to break this thing. Also, the main reason why I'm even doing this in the first place is because of the Electro Totem monument things that you saw. Alright, quick tip. So the reason why I was infused with Electro was because of the Electro Granum zipline. I learned this because of this comment, so thanks again for the Inazuma tips. Anyways, after getting out, we arrived at another area to solve a puzzle. So we played around with the statues and checked our progress by shooting the first one. Afterwards, we just tweaked each of the statues and we were eventually able to complete it. 
Okay, I think this is a correct orientation. Let me just go back up with Exogranum. Cussine? Wait, no! What? Cussine? Okay, which part am I doing it wrong? What? Was that not the last one? Never mind. Apparently, if something was off. But all we had to do was to adjust this last one to the right elevation in order to solve the puzzle. So we're finally able to pick up the orb and return to the ward to submit the items to stop the rain here as well. Lastly, we made our way to meet back up with Kaji and spoke to him to start our last quest. The last puzzle we had to solve is in the water, so we'll have to use the Wave Rider to solve the puzzles in the water. This one was actually pretty straightforward, so we just quickly adjusted each of the statues to the right elevation and completed the final puzzle. Before we could finish, we had I one last thing to do. Wait. Mago King is just sitting there. The fight with Mago Kenki was pretty easy since we had to farm for his drops for Sayu, so I already have a lot of experience. But wonder healer? I mean, Hazel is better as a healer, I think, because he has less. Ow. Okay, I don't really want to die. Because I think Hazel has less burst requirements than Wonder. Luckily, Sayu was with us as well, so we were able to heal back up without any issues and defeated the boss. It wasn't that bad. Pretty easy. So I gotta collect this thing? Where is the orb? Up here? Okay. The guy just littered across Inazuma, I guess. Alright, here. After submitting both items, we were able to stop the rain and finally completed a world quest. Since we completed a world quest, we can continue on the Archon quest. We finally got rid of the rain now, so now we'll hopefully be able to light up all the Electro Monuments. So we made it to the island with the monuments and the first question I asked was, Wait, what now? I went around the island before finding this. Can I just self-destruct? Ow, that really hurts. Does anyone know the order, by the way? Because I need to hit this in order, I'm pretty sure. What? How am I Hydro? What? Huh? That didn't make sense. And yup, there was my regular display of skill issues again. So I tried again. Okay, I'm Electro now, but... I know this one disappears. This is timed. Am I doing this right? No! I missed this by an inch. See? And they, and they disappeared as well. <sighs> My Sayu needs to heal because she'll die. Portable waypoint? I mean, I could, but I could maybe start spinning a little bit later. Because I kind of spin immediately after. Alright, let's test it out again. Alright, let's try this one more time. Okay, so this is basically what happened. I, I think I'm able to touch all of them now. Again, I'm thankful for Sayu because of this. Easy. Next, we have to defeat Sparky, the giant Electro Lava Troll. And I'm not sure if you guys are keeping count, but this happened again. I only have a minor suffering. Okay, I guess fighting this enemy... I don't know how many times... Why am I walking? I don't know how many times my Farozan died already, but like... I think more than four times already. Like, she died during the world quest just now. Alright. After defeating Sparky, we met Tepe again and returned to the Saganomia Shrine to report back to Kokomi and Goro. We found Tepe again, but this time it was for the last time. We became an emo and headed off for revenge. On the way to the Delusion Factory, I thought of something to do. But where is a pyro enemy so I can infuse myself with pyro to unlock this thing? Because I need to, like, light up a. Uh, Tortures, I believe. But I don't fi I don't see any. Okay, there's one down there, but I think it's too low. Maybe a campfire could work. So we have to look for pyro to infuse ourselves with, so we can light up the torches to unlock this domain. This was where I thought of something good and did this 200 IQ move. Okay. Please let there be a pyro enemy here. Pyro abyss mage, please. Okay, there's one. Good enough. I just want him to burn the ground. Do I really need to kill the- Okay, I, I'm gonna kill this one first. Electro one only. 
So all the attacks will be infused with this other samurai guy. Oh, oh never mind. What? You didn't even burn anything. Ow, ow. No! I don't want overload. Okay, I got I burned myself. I was able to light the grass on fire and infuse my Sayu with Pyro and light up all the torches. After that, we were eventually able to unlock the domain. We also unlocked the waypoint here as well, so make teleporting more convenient for us in the future. Anyways, we got into the Delusion Factory, and inside were a lot of Fatui enemies we had to beat up. Ironically, with our Wanderer. Ow, ow. No! <laughs> They're so scary! No! No! Okay, I have Sayu with me, so that's good. I can break the Geo shield pretty quick. The fight was decently easy, and we were able to slowly defeat each enemy here, and even collected a chest as well, before going into the final room. We defeated the last Fatui, and were able to meet Scaramouche. Hopefully he's not mad at me for the betrayal earlier. Okay, I think he's still mad. Anyways, we got rescued by Yae Miko and completed the next part of the quest. So I decided to just stop the Archon quest here. Before moving on, I went to the domain we unlocked earlier to compete for Primo Gems. The domain was pretty straightforward. We just had to defeat 10 enemies here, and that was it. There's only 10 opponents here? Shouldn't be that hard. It was filled with Inazuma Samurai enemies, and they were thick, so it was pretty difficult to chip their HP down. I also made a mistake, which made this domain a bit longer than it should take. Please don't heal. Please don't heal! No! Why am I aiming? <laughs> Come on. Why is the treasure hoarder just like standing there? So my wanderer had to aim at you instead of the enemy that's supposed to be dead. The second wave was easier since it was only no bushes. But maybe I spoke too soon. How is my Farozan al dead already? Yeah, Farozan is only level 50, so she's a little bit squishy. But yeah, how many times did Farozan die in this video? Five? Anyway, so we completed this domain and got a chest and a Primo Gems reward. Alright, with the Inazuma Archon Quest out of the way, it's time for my personal favorite, getting carried in co-op. We usually do various tasks, from dailies to domains and also weeklies. So we quickly breezed through our daily commissions and completed them for the day. Next, we went to do our weekly child challenge. And it was pretty easy. After the child beating, we went to fight a wolf. But I kind of forgot something important. Wait, why am I using... <laughs> I just realized I'm using Wanderer. Okay, good luck team. Yeah, I didn't realize that I couldn't do any damage with Animal. So it's now up to our team to defeat the wolf. Okay, now we're in trouble. I'm basically just walking around and reading my stream's chat at the same time. So my venti was in the background actively getting mauled by the wolf. And soon enough, I was the last one standing. I tried to change my character, but something strange happened afterwards. Okay, I gotta be careful as well. <laughs> Let me just actually go away and change to another character since I need to, contr I need to contribute. Alright. What? What? There's no way- this is a visual glitch, right? Is that even possible? I just want to change characters. Please? Did I- did I get a boss stuck here? I mean, can you guys climb up then? I don't think the wolf will move around that much. Okay, this is actually the first time I saw this. Did I just glitch a boss without knowing? Because the boss isn't moving at all now. It's not attacking us as well. Okay, I'll just stay here then. Interesting. Yeah, I have no idea how this even happened. But since this opportunity is quite hard to come by, make sure to subscribe to this channel to see more funny moments like these. But anyways, if you guys have any ideas on how to even replicate this, let me know in the comments below. Unfortunately, the wolf kept on sliding away, and he eventually fell down and unglitched himself. No! It fell! Okay. Does that mean I can change character? Okay, I knew the boss will reset. That's probably my fault because I kind of knew the boss outside the arena, <laughs> so... I'll take the blame for it. But yeah, let's just finish this boss together as a team and get our weeklies done.
After that, we went to farms with some artifacts. I finally gave my shells a much needed screen time, as I used them in this domain, and basically pogo stick my way through all the enemies. I also joined my co-op teammates' worlds to farm my wanderer's talent essential materials as well. At first, it went pretty well, for the most part, besides the time when I got targeted. Okay, that's rude. I'm just trying to break the elemental shards. Anyways, I got carried and went to fight a ruined serpent in Chasm, mostly for Hazos' essential materials. Luckily, we were in co-op because I kept on dying. Cool. We opened up the rewards and got two drops for having skill issues. But yeah, as always, thanks to everyone that joined me in co-op and carried me through weeklies in my streams. And if you have an emo character you would like to bring to carry me, make sure to go follow my Twitch and join my live streams since I do co-ops pretty much every stream. So since we're halfway through version 3.6, I also went to do another floor of the Spiral Abyss. I only did floor 4, but with my overleveled characters, this was a cakewalk. I just bulldozed through all the chambers and one-shotted most of the enemies here. Being overleveled and going through the easier stages of the abyss was pretty satisfying, and we were able to clear the fourth floor without much trouble. Since we don't have anyone to pull for in this patch, we stocked up a decent amount of primo gems now, basically waiting for another animal character for us to pull. Out of all of the animal characters, I'm only missing Jean, Venti, and Kazuha, so hopefully we'll be able to get them soon, since it's been a while since we pulled on this account. My goal for this version is to clear the Spiral Abyss up to Floor 8, but since starting from Floor 5, we'll need to assemble two animal teams. And I want some tips from you. Let me know some of your creative teams that can get me through all 8 floors of the abyss. And if I ever use your team comp, I'll make sure to feature your comment in the next video. Speaking of which, I also need to finish building my healer Hazel, and complete some of the limited time events to get another Farozone constellation before Lin. So hopefully I'll be able to complete my goals I set out for this version. Again, thank you guys for all the tips for this animal only series. And if you enjoy watching content like these, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.